We've been talking so far in this series a lot about the 300 Spartans and the last stand that they made at Thermopylae. And it seems, I know, like a legend, like a one of a kind event that just happened and that we have memorialized for 2,500 years. But if you think about it, we're all Spartans. You're like the Spartans, I'm like the Spartans. We're all like the 300. We're all heading onto a battlefield, onto a restricted battlefield against an enemy that is overwhelming against us. And we all know that we're not gonna walk off this battlefield alive. And the question is, what are we gonna do about that? How are we gonna live our lives knowing that we are mortal and that we're not gonna get out of this alive? And I know that Probably half the people that are hearing this are thinking to themselves, yeah, the, the noble life to me is X, Y, Z. And it's in contradiction or contradistinction from some other, some other bunch of people who feel like the noble life for me is standing up to that other side, A, B, C. We're living in really partisan times. And what I'm trying to do here in this series and uh, I know sometimes it seems like it's not really going anywhere, but it really is going somewhere. What I'm trying to do is I want to frame the life that we're all living on this side and that side, not in this black, white, north, south, east, west, opposite, opposite thing, but in a whole other way of looking at things that unites everybody and that brings our commonality together. Like I said, we're all Spartans. We're not getting off this field alive. You're not going to get off this field alive, and neither am I. We all want the same things. We all want our children to have a better life than we have. We want to find meaning in our own life. We want to serve our community. We want to be good people. There's a saying in the movie business that the villain never thinks he's the villain. And what that really means is that each of us is trying to do the best that we can. So I hope that as, as we stay with this series and we get into the deeper archetypes, what we're really talking about here is that all of us, in addition to being mortal, as JFK once famously said, we're all going from immature archetypes to mature archetypes. We're all going from a narrow, ego-centered view of the world to a broader sense of the world. We're all going to an exclusive us against them attitude toward an inclusive attitude as we mature from warrior to mentor to teacher to king to queen to sage to mystic. And we're all evolving from a, a point of view that is exclusively egocentric and in the present moment to a multi-generational moment, to a thing that looks towards the future. Because we are mortal and we want to keep going for the, our children and our grandchildren. So if you'll stick with me in this series, we're all Spartans and it's all gonna make sense, at least in my mind, in the end. Mm -hmm.